I originally called this one beanstalk, but after I did a trial run of it, I decided to call it gladiolus because it looks like a gladiolus. So I'm going to arc over and do a small featherish frond there, starting from the middle of your section. And again, this is one I would do in a sashing or binding or a um, border. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So just sort of one little front there. And then we're going to do a paisley, more or less to the side that we did the first front, but more or less up the middle. And then go up the outside of that paisley and do another little front. Come back down and do another double paisley. And if you go from the inside to the outside and then back to the inside, you're right in the correct spot to put the next little frond in. So paisley to the outside, echo that paisley back to the inside, new frond. And again, just a small frond. Paisley to the outside, Echo the paisley back into the inside, and a small frond. Paisley to the outside, back to the inside. And you saw I tried to go the wrong way to begin there. Just stop yourself and bring it back. Paisley to the outside. Echo to the inside, another front. Paisley to the outside, back to the inside, another front. Paisley to the outside, back to the inside, and another front. And my kitty cat is coming. So I'm going to use this as a good spot to stop and change threads. So here is gladiolus and matching thread. Again, you're going to do, at this point, you're going to do a paisley. Another paisley, and you're going to come out through the middle and do a little frog. And then a paisley. A paisley and a little front. Right. A paisley. Echo the paisley. And do a front. Paisley. Echo the paisley. And do the front. if you're going to uh, change your hand position you want to come to a complete let the needle to be at a complete stop if you're going to have to change your hand position Now, here I'm just about at the end, so to end it off, all I'm going to do is the double paisley and leave it at that because that takes up the space that we need to take at the end and finishes it nicely. So let me cut the thread and then you can get a look at what it looks like in matching thread. There it is, gladiolus in matching thread in non-matching thread. 
and I think it just looks like a stalk of gladiolus flowers, so that's why I call it gladiolus.